Hello, welcome to Edufory for Teachers. I'm your host, Robert Rocha. Today, we're, we're going to be looking at how to develop your lesson plans online using Edufory's Forethought module. Now, before we begin using that module, I want to mention to you that when you're using Edufory, or, or as a matter of fact, any EPISD website, uh, product, service, you want to use a good browser. And we recommend that you use Google Chrome or you use Mozilla Firefox. Now, if you look in, or you log into your My EPISD page, as I have up here right now, you're going to see on the very bottom left or bottom middle of your screen, it says Google Chrome. And you can simply click on that and download that. And right now, it seems to be the, one of the best browsers to use, again, for Edgeforia and other products such as Teams. Now, once you have that installed, I, again, I don't recommend using Internet Explorer. We've had some issues with that, so stay away from Internet Explorer when using Forethought. But uh, once you have your browser set up, we want to go ahead now and start to use and look at Edgeforia. So if I go back to my EPISD homepage, if I look to the left-hand side of my screen, I'm going to see where it says Edgeforia as my link. So if I click on that link, it's going to take me directly to the Edgeforia website to log in. Now, you're simply going to use your full email address. So I'm going to type my email address here. And I'm going to type in my password. Now, if you are a new user or a new teacher to EPISD, your first time you log in, you have to use the password welcome. And once you use Welcome, it's going to take you through a series of screens to set up your account. It's going to ask you, in particular, what is your um, what's, what school that you're working at, what grade level you're working at, or what sections you're working on. And also, it'll be asking you for your badge number. Uh, if you have your, EP, my EPI, your district badge on the backhand side of that badge, it has a number. You'll place that number in there, and then you click on Save. And so you can uh, save your password or create a pretty new password that you want to go ahead and use and all your vital information. Now, once you have that done and you sign in, your screen will look pretty much like this. Um, you're going to see aware, forethought, and as a teacher, you're going to also see uh, your PDOS links where you have your walkthroughs, information, things like that. But for what we're going to focus on right now is forethought. And it's going to be on the right hand side of your screen, the little picture of the book. When I click on Forethought and I log in, you're going to see it's kind of developed in different sections that are here. And if I start from my far left-hand side, you're going to see I have these different tabs. And by default, it puts it into the My Planner tab. And down below, I have one called Lesson Plans, which you may not have as a teacher. I have a little bit more rights in Edgeforia, so I get to see a little more things. But your next tab is going to be My Activities. And My Activities is going to be lessons that you thought were really fantastic that you wanted to share with your colleagues or share across the district. And you, it allows you to share your lesson plans there. Now, if I go down below one more tab, there's going to be my scope and sequence. My scope and sequence are going to be where all the curriculum bundles are going to be for a particular grade levels you want to teach. All the information that you need to teach your course are going to be right there. So as you can see here, it's broken down by elementary, middle, high school. There's some sample lessons and a curriculum team practice. So right now, let's say I was an elementary teacher. I would, I would click on elementary, and let's say I would taught second grade. I click on second grade. And then if I was looking for a certain subject, let's say I was teaching something in math, I wanted to see what that unit was. If I click on mathematics, it's going to open up another side screen. If we just wait a few more seconds, you're going to see all the information that you need to teach that course. You're going to have your, your adopt, adopted standards, your ELSPs, your career and college readiness standards, your TEKS, differentiated instruction binders, and of course all your different topics. And it just depends on how your uh, how they're hung on in this particular item, but they may be broken down by topics or broken down by units. So once that, that's one area you can go and look quickly for information. But let's go back to my planner. When I click on my planners tab. It's kind of broken down to where you're going to be work, doing most of your work here in Edgeforia. If I go to my left-hand side now, just a little bit, or to the right of my tabs, you're going to see your calendar. And the calendar is a really integral part of Edgeforia. It allows you to navigate to different days of, the, of, the, your, of your lesson plan, or the calendar year that you can go and look for. And there's some quirks with that calendar. And in future videos, sort of, we're going to show you those little quirks that are, are in Edgeforia that that cal calendar creates. Now, if I go down below that calendar, 
I have my lesson plans. By default, my first one is my lesson planner, and that's going to be where I'm going to create my own personal lesson plans. Now, down below here, you see that I have two other planners, and notice that the icon is a book with a hand. When I see the book with a hand, that means a teacher has shared the lesson plans with me, and I can share my lesson plans with other teachers. They cannot uh, write on my lesson plans, but they can actually view them and copy them if they wanted to do that. Now, in a future video down below here, there will be another icon of a team. If you wanted to create a team icon or a team lesson plan, you could to work with your grade level or department. And again, we'll show you that in a future video. If I go straight down below on that left-hand side, you're going to see where I have create a new team. And that create a new team allows you to add other members to collaborate together uh, with your lesson plans. And then down below, change my settings. This is going to be where you're going to change your schedule. Uh, if you change for different grade levels or you change different schools, this is going to be where you're going to add your courses into le your lesson planner. Now, as I look towards the middle of my screen, this is going to be the heart of Eduphoria. This is going to be the heart of your lesson planner that you have. And this is going to be, as you can see here, where I have my courses, and this is where I'm going to write and create my lesson plans. And so you can see here, I have an English course, I have a mathematics course, and I can go ahead and just start copying in there or typing in all my lesson plans that I want to go ahead and do. Now, if I go up to the very top up here, that's going to be where I can look at all my different properties and different things that I can change uh, to write with to create my lesson plans that I have there. Now, if I always go to my far right-hand side, you can see a little blank space. That's going to be where your curriculum bundles are going to be displayed. In order to display those curriculum bundles, I want to go back to the middle section here, and in my bold area, I want to go ahead and click on that. And when I click on that particular item there, notice now all the information populates for that particular uh, course, all the information that I need. Again, your texts are going to be, your career college readiness items, and again, there's your units that you have, unit you know, one, three, four, and five. And below here are going to be my resources. If I open up a unit, let's say unit four, and I go to my reading curriculum document, you're going to see now under my resource, it tab tabulates a little gear, and that's going to tell me there's more information for me to look at. If I click on that gear, I'm going to have more information that I can go and use for my lesson plans. But this pretty much sums up the outline of how Eduphoria looks and feels. In our future videos, we're going to show you how to actually create your lesson plans and all the different quirks that are there, and how to create a team planner and to share your planner. So look forward to watching those videos also with us, and we hope you enjoyed your, your show today. Thank you.